We are talking about money today. CDL drivers, money, how much money they make, how much should you expect to make, how much should you expect to pay your FedEx ground line haul drivers. If you are new here, this is part of Line Haul Solutions series. We are doing essentially trying to bridge the gap between owners of a trucking company, specifically FedEx ground line haul contractors, and the drivers that drive these routes for us. Today we are going to watch a video from This Trucking Life. And this video jumped out at me. Day five payday. How much does a CDL driver FedEx ground make something very relative money's the most important and it's a topic that sometimes we don't really dig into but it's important and as contractors payroll is way too high but as drivers it's man they never pay us enough so trying to bridge that gap and set those expectations I think is extremely important for that relationship. Line All Solutions, all about transparency and trying to just make sure we're all working with the same data, the same info, and feel like it's better for the entire system when everyone's playing by the same rules and the same understanding of those rules. Let's watch this trucking life. So I want to talk about my day five. I'm actually doing the same run I did on that day five. I believe it was the 28th of January. So we're here at Romeoville FedEx. Romeoville. I just picked up this beauty. Illinois. I think. The race in the snowstorm. Safety Lails comes on. I've been going for 30 seconds. And yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I've got a 53. 53. So I like this run. And it's got weight in it. So. I don't got to worry about being blown around up there near 4K or 7, oh, what's it called? Fair Oaks Farms, not 7K Farms, just somewhere else. Also, I want to show you this trailer on the side. This isn't mine. This isn't even FedEx's. So this trailer, all the research I'm doing, because I'm wanting to be an owner op or start a small carrier, but a trailer like this. Beat to hell. It's got four tires on each side. <laughs> it's beat all the heck. I'm showing you this trailer right here. This trailer right here. I guarantee you this sucker, hey, you can probably see daylight when you go inside and shut the door. This trailer probably going for 10 grand right now. I've seen worse for 10 grand on Marketplace, trust me. He posted this a year ago. Take that into consideration when he's talking about money, he's talking about the price of a trailer. Things have come down since then. A uh, very different world. Inflation, the price of trucks and trailers was just so incredibly high. I can tell you just about every one of them that's for sale right now, at least in my area, around 200 miles in my area. But yeah, I just wanted to throw, throw this up here real quick. I'll get settled in this truck. So it's a FedEx line haul driver running a daytime run who has dreams of being an owner operator. Another one. We keep hearing that. We keep seeing that. So he's driving to FedEx, making probably good money, but wants to own his own business. Something to take into consideration as we're hiring these guys. Things are going great on the throne here so i'll just make this quick guys like i don't want to take up any of y'all's time or nothing like f8 said trying to buy equipment in this market it's it's crazy and it is it's it's insane it's ridiculous people like i've seen some of these trucks going to auctions i did the Richie brothers auction and before the auction even started they let you bid and it was already past what you would have seen a year ago for this truck like a 2015 cascadia just the word cascadia it's gonna go over 50,000. <laughs> I don't care if it's got a million miles and excessive blow by. It's awesome to be able to take this information and get to it, you know, kind of analyze it a year later. Everyone, if he bought a truck and, and hopefully he didn't buy a truck at the highest point of the market because truck values came down significantly. In a lot of cases, I mean, at least half, you know, a hundred grand Cascadia pay for maybe 50 60 grand right now it's just the bottom collapse and you can call it you're getting good deals on stuff or the price is trying to return to those pre-inflated pandemic levels it's ridiculous so there's that but hey day five of my five day work week yeah i'm a slacker home every day except during this week i actually got to go to st paul and chill out i can't remember what truck stop it was now but yeah it's pretty cool I got to sleep in the truck. Uh, like I said, 
in my description, I'm a, a home daily uh, line haul driver for a contractor for FedEx. Um, I hate FedEx. It's ridiculous some they do, some of the things. But at the same time, I'm home Ooh. every night, so whatever. Would love to talk to him, and, and I'm going to reach out to him, and hopefully he'll have a conversation with me. I'd love it. What do you hate about FedEx? That's the information we want. What do drivers hate about FedEx? Is there anything that we can do as contractors to alleviate some of his concerns? And sometimes it's absolutely nothing. It just sucks. I wait for my trailers, but there's always delays, or my run has a ton of traffic, or it's too long of a run, or whatever it is. But is it something related to his contractor, or is it something related to just being being in the FedEx ground system. I can make more and be more happy, like being my own boss and crap and, you know, not having to work on uh, like Thanksgiving and stuff like that. I hate that. And if I'm going to work that, I want to think a lot more than I make now. Okay. Yeah. My total miles for the week was 2,552. Great week. And that's five days. That's just over 500 miles Actually, a day more than that. daytime home like daily peak season definitely and you know six day a week but sometimes five days a week through peak too i'll still run more than that because like next week i'm running from greenwood to wheeling west virginia and back and that is uh usually only have i might have 40 minutes left on my clock but if, if it's even raining you know any slowdowns i'm gonna have way less than that but that's a really good paying run i'm gonna be running that for five days next week but, okay, so 2,552 miles um, that week ending uh, January 28th, I believe. And my mileage pay was $1,607. Then you add up my drop and hook pay, it was a total of $82. And I feel like there was some something else there too. Uh, city spot or something, maybe that was connected. Because when I run from Greenwood to Chewy like today, um, I get like a small thirty dollar, you know. It's it pays more than it would for my note because I'm picking up from a customer and call it a city spot or something. But yeah, um, little gross was seventeen hundred twenty four dollars, and that's that's before my taxes and so I mean that's kind of average. Definitely through the summer that's average. We don't run very much. Uh, we don't run very hard at least. I'm unassigned, so I guess I'm unassigned. I do all kinds of different stuff. I just do the same run all the time. Thank gosh, because that's just I can't I can't do that. I've been that Interesting. before. Oh, no, no thanks. <laughs> So to put that into perspective, he's making over 70 cents a mile. I'll do the math and we'll put it on the screen, but 72, 73 cents a mile. I believe that comes out to uh, based his gross versus his miles home daily. Great, great money. There was not that long ago. We were paying team drivers that much money. So he's doing well. He's wild man. You know, he's running the unassigned running that wild man and he's doing the same thing all week long which is extremely interesting some hubs instead of giving you a run every day they'll give you the same run for the entire week and it's certainly something as a contractor we love to have typically the am runs and they'll give it to you for the whole week not just the one day so it's really you can put together several good weeks of those unassigned those wild man runs so yeah i'm unassigned which is awesome Sometimes I'll get a call, I'm like, there's just nothing, man. And then I could stay home and clean the house. <laughs> Yay. Uh, so, again, I gross $1,724. I'll gross $2,200 sometimes. Again, it depends on the runs and everything like that. But $2,200, six, six figures, $2, home daily driver. And it just sucks because we moved to a different facility. There's a big facility uh, built there in Greenwood it's closer to my house so I, I started over there instead of where I used to start out which was 6 a.m. and now here it's 10 a.m. so I got school age children I've got children of all ages it's awesome I've got a preschooler and I've got my oldest daughter she's already graduated from high school well midterm she'll be graduating in this uh, <sighs> summer it's a big gap yeah so I've got kids of all ages <laughs> and I'm gonna rent it because that's what I do if you know anything about me I talk too much then and, and stuff um but yeah, guys, $1,724 is what I grossed. It's not a bad gig. I got one of the best bosses ever. Some insight, right? He doesn't like doing the same thing every day. That's unique. He's got kids. And so 
FedEx ground this run allows him to be home every day. Now he started at six and you got a different run where he's not starting till 10. That's probably challenging when you want to be home, see your kids at night. You figure if you have a 10 a.m. start time, you're running 11, 12 hours a day. You're not getting home till late. Kids are asleep by them. So you catch them in the morning before they head off to school. And so that probably takes its toll. I'm sure I'd be frustrated if I were him in that scenario. You build your life based on 6 a.m. but then it bumps to 10 a.m. And that's the thing that you have to be prepared for just as a CDL driver. But even in FedEx, these start times change, these runs change, these cuts change based on the needs. And as contractors, drivers, so you know, as contractors, we have no control over that. We are at the whims of the FedEx hub, that station manager, or whoever is planning those loads. A lot of times they change and it can be frustrating, frustrating for us as well. I feel like there was something else I'm missing that I wanted to put in this video, but yeah, anybody knows of a, a good cheap truck, let me know. He's still gonna looking. I, I'm going to follow up on that. I'm scared. I'm scared to pull the trigger. You know, I don't want to buy something that's going to strain me in the first month. Cause or severely collapse in value. I'm just not ready to go yet. Great video. I am so interested to get more specifics. I'm going to watch his stuff right now, but probably would love to talk to locked him and try to set up an interview with him and just get that insight. I think it's so valuable. Why, why do you hate FedEx? What is it about that? Is it the contractor? And he said, he mentioned he, he loves the contractor he's working for. And it's the FedEx system and what can his contractor do to alleviate and there probably is none some people the FedEx system just isn't for them we'll talk to some guys like oh, I love it I would never go anywhere else other ones are like I do this begrudgingly but I would love to know more specifics on him the money money's good how much does he make he's making uh, 68 to 71 72 cents a mile great solo home daily driver that's good money and depending on what market you're in that can be just much higher than market or that's certain higher paying cities that's a pretty normal average rate these days and for drivers inflation with everything else driver wages went up and so he works five days and he's bringing home 80 grand right what did he say 1700 let's say 1700 times 52 weeks he's making 90 grand a year that's not that bad at all so i urge you give him a follow i'm gonna check out a lot more of his stuff thanks everyone we will be continuing this series we have a lot more content coming very soon thanks